Now research scope. Uh, in my previous video, I talked about uh, research objectives and I told that uh, people mis uh, uh, represent these two uh, as the same thing, research scope and research objectives. But these are the two totally different uh, it items, entity. Uh, when you understand the basic research that what is basically research scope and research objectives, then it is very easy for you. Scope basically means limitation. This is very hard word. Uh, people uh, say, oh, come on, uh, what does scope mean? Uh, this means that uh, if somebody asks you that I want to do MBA and you tell them that, oh, uh, MBA has no scope these days. This means that the limitation, the scope means the limitation, the boundaries. So research scope means basically what are your boundaries that, for example, Initially, you find out problem, the gap for that problem to solve and to fill that gap, you identified and you uh, established, established, this is the right word, you establish research objectives that I will do this thing, I will do that thing, I will do that thing to solve that problem, to fill that gap. Now, when you are doing that thing, that thing, that thing, three objectives and you are going to use some method. You are going to follow some path and that is your research scope. It is very, very clear. I give you a simple example here. For example, uh, 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 there is a, um, uh, a cape or something uh, you keep on the top of the floor and somebody asks you that uh, now take that cape from the uh, top of the floor. So different people will use different paths. For example, I might use ladder. I might go there uh, using uh, 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 stairs. I might take help from roofs, throw the roof up and just uh, fix it there uh, with some technique and take the uh, cape. In the first case, I use ladder, take the cape. In the third case, I use stairs, I, I take the cape. In another case, you just take the help of each other people and just reach there. For example, you keep your foot on the top of other one person, another person, this like that. You reach the floor, the top um, uh, floor, and you achieve the uh, your target or you get the cape back. So the objective is there to get the cape. This is a very short word to get the cape from the top of the building. Now you are using a uh, stair, you are using a uh, roof, you are using ladder, you are you taking help from your buddy colleagues. These are called scopes, research scopes. That which path are you following? What are the ways to achieve your objective? These are called research scope. This is very interesting. You see, let me read this for you. Uh, research activities involved to achieve each objective will be thoroughly elaborated in chapter 4, 5, 6. Right? These are my result discussion. The itemized research objective activities of each objective are explained. You see, the itemized research activities, very interesting. The res itemized research activities of each objective are explained to you. For each objective, for each objective, I done something special to achieve. You see, each objective is mean to get the cave from the top of the floor. This is my objective. Now, some people say that I use ladder to achieve the cave. This is wrong objective. This is not objective. In order to get the cave, this is your objective. Now. Uh, to use ladder to reach the top of the floor and get the cape. This is wrong objective. This is basically research scope. So I explain here, itemize research activities of each objective. Now let's go down. The scope objective one. To synthesize a working electrode matrix composing of SNO2 particles of varying sizes by hydrothermal process such as light, high surface area and high scattering particles are in single examples. 
wow i use hydrothermal process you see it is very very clear now i hope it is very very clear what i am telling that to achieve my first objective i have to use hydrothermal process you see this is my uh scope but for this objective one i just use this one process now look another one to synthesize one dimensional sno2 nano fiber by electro spinning technique oh <laughs> you see i again use some method to achieve that target uh let's see what i can achieve my first objective by another way to synthesize one dimension sno2 now multi functional oh, multi i just explain that this is another fibers multifunctional uh, uh nano fibers again i will use electro spinning method you see this is electro spinning method but i am going to uh, get more high surface area in char transport property also you see this is how we are uh, uh, differentiated the objective in scope now let's see my the scope of objective 2 similarly i also uh, use th three ways you see this is the second scope and this is the third scope similarly for my objective 3 there is also scope i explain you see three scopes very nicely so now i hope you understand the difference between research objective and research scope what is research objective this is a specific thing you are going to achieve that is called research objective for example if i ask you to get that thing now how you are getting that thing you are taking help from your colleague you are using ladder you are using one path you are using another path you are using one method you are using another method that is the scope of your research this is called research scope it shows the limitations the limitations means that you can use this method this method in this method this is your limitation you limited your study you limited your research that during this circle i will use this method in this method this method this is why you limit your uh, work limited your uh, study uh, that the particular method i will use to achieve my objective i hope research scope and research objective are clear if you feel any difficulty in understanding research scope in research objective do not hesitate to put your comment below i will definitely respond i will make it clear thanks for watching